was sentenced today in the case of a missing man whose body was buried in the backyard of a Bakersfield home in January. 17's Olivia LaVoice joining us now with the latest. Olivia? Well, Jim, prosecutors say David Williams gave Joseph Lara drugs that were laced with fentanyl. They say when Lara overdosed, instead of calling 911, Williams let him die and enlisted two others to help him bleach, burn, and bury his body. Those are the facts of the case. But today's sentencing was all about the raw emotion Lara's family is dealing with. One by one, the family of Joseph Lara took the chance to address David Williams and ask him questions that have haunted them. How could you just let him die like that? Why didn't you call him? Police reports depict Williams as a dealer who sold Laura a bad batch of drugs. But today we learned Laura's family once trusted Williams and thought he was a friend. And you claim you have the audacity to claim you were there for him. Shame on you. Shame on you. Laura's aunt tried to speak directly to Williams, but he held a folder over his face the entire time. He is a coward because he's taken so much from our family, and he can't even show his face and give us that. Even at this moment, knowing he's taken everything away from us, he can't even show any shred of character to even show his face to this family that's broken. And that's a shame, and I'm sorry for whatever brokenness you have, David. I'm sorry. I'm sorry that your family, if you were raised wrong or if you were hurt, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for whatever corrupted you to this point. Lara's mother spoke about the betrayal she felt during the week her son was considered missing and she went to Williams for help. You led me to believe that you cared about my son. You With William still refusing to show his face, Laura's mother gave him this final message. I forgive you, David Williams. I forgive you. One of the more shocking facts of this case was that burning and burying a body can only be charged as a misdemeanor. Laura's mother ended her statement today by addressing this to the court. I do pray that one day the laws change. And that someone that burns a dead body gets the same amount of justice as someone who burns a house down. I'd like to think that wood, drywall, and paint isn't worth more than a human being. Thank you and God bless you all. David Williams took a plea deal last month. He pled no contest to involuntary manslaughter and a charge related to a separate drug case in exchange for getting several felonies dismissed. He was sentenced to six years in prison today. His defense attorney, Paul Cadman, says he'll serve about three years. Prosecutor Michael Cave says he hopes it'll be closer to four. The real significance of this case is this is the first time a drug dealer in Kern County has been held criminally liable for a deadly overdose. The two individuals who are accused of helping Williams dispose of Lara's body are charged as accessories. Their cases are still pending. In studio, I'm Olivia LaVoice, 17 News.